Hey there everyone, I'm back and where'd I put it? Gonna be just some doing some noir black. I'm sure it's not pronounced that way, but came up with a little joke to go with it and I have to pronounce it that way. And there is hair stuck to my brush. There we go. And we're gonna be doing her hat and her eye patch today. And this is the first time I've used this color. Okay, I've used black before, but I haven't ever used the noir black. And it's ironic that we're using noir black on pirates, because pirates are R full. R, 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 R. Yeah, I know. That was a stupid joke. It was meant to be. Hope everybody's doing fine. I am looking forward to wrapping this all up. Just as a side, you know, this isn't covering that gray all the way. It's kind of giving a little sheen to it, kind of shining through which is about what I was hoping for, actually. You know, I didn't want to do it a straight black. Anyway. I find my once in a while time to paint, so here it is. I even have had, have, yeah. I even haven't had time to, uh, paint on my just plain fun project that I've got set up. So it's been busy, busy, busy. Oh, how I envy college kids with time to paint right now. If only I'd discovered everything years prior. And I really... That all should be... All of that right there should be feather. So I'm going to have to go back and repaint that. So I will leave it brushed out so I remember to do it that way. But I'm looking forward to having the whole pirate crew finished and moving on to something else. I haven't quite decided what it will be. Kind of wanting to do a more detailed one where I use a lot of shading and it's not so basic a paint job. I've tried to keep these Reaper Bones ones as pretty simple as possible. I know I tried doing a really fantastic job on one prior, but you know, step away from Reaper for a bit, maybe. I don't know. Of course, if you've got a Reaper Mini from the Bones line that you'd like to see me paint, you know, by all means, request it, and I will get it done. Maybe. But, you know, I've got some stuff from Dystopia Wars that I can paint. And that actually I have been painting. Just not on camera. So I may do something like that. My hands are shaking horribly. Probably gripping everything way too tight. If I just relax a little bit, it would work. And I know I don't see it modeled, but I would like to put the strap 
in and kind of going up. Kind of crosses over her eyebrow, doesn't it? Mm. I'll try to just get the very top of that. Yeah, that looks good. And since it looks good, I'm going to leave that. Do not touch, do not touch, do not touch. Touch up the hat again a little bit. Well, it's covering up that shine through that I said I kind of liked, but I would like it a little darker. Not much to really say about painting black. You know, I don't know if I would recommend painting black first or last. Because if you paint it first and have to paint over it, it is a little bit of a pain to try to go over with some other color, like, you know, a skin tone. I'm always going to paint her little bag down here black. Then again, spending a lot of time painting something and then making a mistake with black might be just as frustrating. Having to concentrate so I'm not talking. Make sure this is visible. was watching a website and I apologize for not knowing the guy's name but he was carving paper objects out of wood well, why that's relevant it'll take a while to me to get to but it will be relevant and anyway he, by wood products he was painting um, not painting. First he was carving, then painting. Like comic books and envelopes out of money. But he was using wood to carve it. And, you know, photorealistic. It was really cool. And apparently he's been doing this on a forum somewhere for a long time. But anyway, he was talking, he labeled one of his pictures a uh, I think it was a stack of newspapers with a crossword puzzle on top. And one of his little things was talking about he was putting in all the small details that no one would ever notice except he would. And I can relate because sitting there painting this and realized, eh, no one is ever going to notice the bottom of that bag isn't painted, but I'll know it's not painted, so I paint it. So that's where the relevancy comes in. I guess also I do that in drywall. I don't do drywall for a living, by the way. And my repair jobs show. But everybody I talk to says, oh no, we, we don't really Notice that you, you screwed up a whole lot there, Darren. And I'm like, well, I did. I'm going to paint her heels, too. But, uh, boy, I sure notice every time. I just got finished with a repair job. And I think I did a lot better this time than before. Now, see, this is one of those cases. I'm getting black on something that I really don't want to, but I don't see any way around it. And since I haven't painted the ground yet, I'm going to use it to kind of help guide everything. So, well. Had to readjust my camera so I don't know exactly where 
sits anymore. So I had to look away for a second. But anyway, that's wrapping up on the black. And like I mentioned last videos that we're at the point where it's just getting all the little fiddly bits done. In that little spot, no one will no, no. never notice that inside of there is not painted, but I will. So anyway, don't think I can think of anything else to paint black at the moment. So I've got to do the feather again and the sword and the belt buckle, and I think she'll be done. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you want, and if you want to, send a comment on the YouTube video on something you'd like to see me paint. I'm open. Or, you know, drop in on Reaper forums or Cool Me or Not forums and send Pegasus a message about what you'd like to see him paint. But anyway, that's it for me. I'll see you around.